we got now? One morning at the Brazil shed, all the engines and legs were waking up again, getting ready to start work. However, the star boy wasn't really feeling well. <coughs> he said, I'm not feeling well. He said, The engines and legs thought, What's wrong with you? I don't know. The princess came over. I think you I think I think that um some of your parts of your engine will be blocked. You may need to go to the works. Oh wait, said Gustavo. Now what now what can I do? So the controller was called to the sheds. Alright engines. It's okay. Hey, some of you just go off to work. Yes, sir, they said. And some of the engines went off. I'm sorry, Gustavo, but unfortunately, I cannot let you pour, pour the express with this. But, but who will run it for me, sir? Well, after doing some thinking, I was thinking maybe James can do it. Wait, you want me to do it? Asked James. Yes, says you're the since you're the only other bigger engine around here and biggest engine that came along with your friends from Stodal and that one from Australia yeah, this plan should work Jane was delighted with the news thank you sir, said Jane I will be on the Pordy Express good, now you can't couple the Star Wars coaches to the coupling so, so go and find some coaches while you're at it yes sir, said James and James puffed away on the turntable. Alright, Gustavo, I'll look after the express today. You better, said Gustavo. James went to, to the yards and looked for some coaches, but he didn't really find much. So he decided to ask, ask some of the other engines. And you guys, asked James, do you know any coaches I can find? Sorry, they said. Sorry, we don't work on this well, you know. Trail. I should ask, ask some of the Brazil engines. And James puffed away. Probably that I was running up from water and coal. Coal for today's work. Hey, go again, asked James. Do you know any coaches I can find express ones? Sorry, said the guy. I don't think I can see any. They must be all used for today. Bother, said James. And James went off to find some more. He then met up with Raoul. I was doing a bit of shunting. Hey Raoul, asked James. Do you, do you know any express coaches I can find? Sorry, said Raoul. I don't port passenger trains that much. Oh, alright, said James. James puffed away. Fernando, was throwing upon some fuel as James puffed up beside him. Hey Fernando, do you know any coaches I can find? Fernando thought. Sorry James, I don't know any coaches. Bother, said James. Why does nobody know his way what coaches are? Well, you don't act like this. Sorry, engines like me, Raul, and Gobagaya don't take coaches that much. Gobagaya usually works at the docks, and me, Raul, mostly takes some small goods trains. And we we'll do, and we we'll do strength sometimes. You're right. Sorry for my giving out. I just don't want to. I just don't want to get in trouble. That's all. Why not look around Brazil and and try that? Good idea, said James. And James puffed away. Nice that idea, anyways, Fernando. You're welcome, said Fernando. James puffed around Sodor, looking 
popped around Brazil looking for coaches. Coaches, coaches, as the express once told, said James. Where can I find some? Hmm. So James went around Brazil. He looked through the town center. He went to the Brazil shooting yard, but most he dealt with his trucks. He tried everywhere but couldn't find any coaches. Father, said James, the express will be starting soon, and I gotta find coaches. James. James was still looking for coaches, and he was almost about to give up. Ah! I can't find any coaches, I just gotta tell to tell the Brazil control the bad news. On his way, he saw some old tracks. Ah, he came to a halt. What's this? said James. James saw some old lines and points. Hmm. Wonder what that leads to. James finally got out and switched the points and got back on. And James James puffed down the old with the train's line. Hmm, this looks like an express route, said James. Not like the one from Starbo. This one's beautiful what Thomas said. He passed some some beautiful places as well as some old stations. Just then James came up to some old sidings or sheds and he found four coaches. Ah they look very old, said the driver. Yes, said the pine man. Wonder where they move. Ah, mm, said James. Like the wheels, wheels should not fall off. I do remember when Thomas told me about when he he was using some old tanker for for years because the that fell off. Huh. Well, we should could give it a try. I I think there is some turntable, but I think they're too old to work. Uh, well, we could give it a try, said James. Oh, I was try. So they did. They went on an old turntable, but it was hard for it to move. Come on, you great big silly thing, move, said James. Luckily, James Fire must go working. Away! They said. Soon it worked. James Fireman got back on James' cap and they puffed away. James buffered down to the coaches. He buffed up to the first two and then buffed up to the second two. Right, said James. Let's go! Let's bring it to the works. And soon they puffed away with the four coaches. They had a good run with the coaches. It all seemed well. Soon James brought them to get restored. The young couple. Put them into sidings. Yeah, said James. How long will it take? Maybe be an hour. It won't be too long. Okay, said James. I'll be back soon for them. James puffed away. Soon, the workmen got the coaches restored. And soon, James came back to pick them up. Wow, said James, they look fantastic. Oh well, well, we did our best though. Never mind, said James, to be perfect. Let's go! James pulled the coaches to the platform. James pushed the coaches to the Brazil station platform. He soon they, they were ready to go. So oh, everyone got in, the, the car boots were so, James boots were so, and puffed away. 
Let's get these pokes just, just, just get what we got, said James, as they poked away. Soon they were, having, they were having a fantastic run. Right, Jerry was doing so well with the coaches that the pastors really liked the coaches. Soon James arrived at the station. Or oh, I mean, um, the, the docks. The dock station. That's the court. But everyone on cheered. The Brazil controller was still, and they all told him how. Good, the coaches were. Brazil Control was puzzled. Huh? huh? Where got these coaches from, James? He asked. From some old, some old line, sort of an express route, I think. Hmm. No, can you show me? Yes, yeah, said James. James uncovered the coaches and puffed away. So, Control on board. They went, went on the points that James found went down the line. Soon they arrived where James found the coaches. Huh, the bills, so the bills controller. You're white. It is an old express route. Yeah, over in that shell over there. It's well. It's where that uh, I found Coaches. Huh. Wait a minute, what's that over there? Said James Dryer. They went to look. They couldn't believe their eyes. There they found there were more coaches. The Brazil control was surprised. You know something? I think we should restore design and add it to the Brazil Railway. Really? said James. Of course, James, you have made a huge discovery today. I will be reporting this to the Fat Controller. He will be proud of you. James was delighted. Thank you, sir, said James happily. Now, we might as well take these coaches with us. I'll arrange another engine to take, take the express, maybe, since you're here. Okay, said James. As James switched on some other tracks, buff up to the coaches, and they puffed away. Meanwhile, with the others, the others were resting. They heard James whistle. Huh, I wonder what James found this time, they asked. But all of a sudden, they saw James puffing into view. Hey, you guys, said James. They were so impressed with the and there was a prize for all the amount of coaches James found. Whoa! James, where do you found these? They asked. James puffed up. He puffed up on the guy's line. He explained everything. It's a certain choice step out of his cab. I have exciting news for you all. James has made a huge discovery today. And he was able to found, found these four coaches. As well, he found four other coaches he used for the express earlier on. It was on an old express route. So, oh, I'm going to restore that old line. The engines were surprised. It shall be added to the railway and it can be used, used when Gustavo is not available since his line is only used, it's only that for him. Whoa, yes, sir, said the engines. <laughs> That's good engines. Once Gustavo has returned, he can help you build the U9. Well, we stole the old line to court. The engines were pleased. They're glad they were going to restore an old line. And That's what they did. All the engines worked hard together. But coming back, back to loads or not, to restore the U9. And they enjoy restoring it. No matter what. They always get tired, but in the end, they always never give up. I mean, and when Gustavo came back, he, he, he even helped as well.
Even Ace came to time to time to check on see how they're doing. And soon came the opening. After making speeches, just the Brazil control. Now, it'd be great honors that James the Red Engine from Soto can open the line. What do you say, James? I'll be honored to, said James, since he made his stuff free. So that's what happened. As James puffed through and, and, and ripped the rip, ribbon, like what Thomas did, did when, when they were building Osborne Harbor, the branch line, on my and Daisy work on. And all the engines chilled, chilled and whistled and honked. However, the main fault that this episode is still also something special coming up. After having been a tour of Brazil when they first came, James Ruxley will be gather that Ace and Raul Racing could start by having a train ready. Raul trying to be the carnival and James with the Express, the Brazil Express, it all came to an end. Sadly, the day came for Thomas, Nia, James, and Ace to leave Brazil. They were sad, like when they had to leave India, Australia, and China. Ah, so Thomas, another country finished. Yes, said Nia, indeed. But hey, mates, if we had great times over in India, well, we didn't really know, including Australia and China, then we did have a great time here. Yes, said James. I wonder where we're going next. Where is this bizarre control? According to this, this. This will be your last, your la next country you're going to will be your last country. Wait a minute, our last country? Yep. That means, where we're, where we're going then? Mm -hmm. Before the Pacific Control can say anything else, they had a whole coming. I think I'll answer your questions. Said. The yeah, coming in was Stefano. Thomas was surprised. Stefano! said Thomas. Hello, Thomas, my friend, said Stefano. What are you doing here? said Thomas. Well, I'm here to take you and your friends to Italy. Italy? Is that where we're going next? Yep. Italy? Wow, said Nia. Ah, that, that'd be cool. Indeed, mate, said Ace. Wait a minute, said Nia Jane. Together. If we're going to Italy, then after that, we're going back to Sodor, said Thomas. The engines were surprised. Why right, is that about you guys? Active so engines. Well, yeah, because we are we were having fun traveling around the world. But we can't wait to go back to someone and tell our friends. Yeah. Anyways, by the all's up, Stefano. Okay, then, my friends. Are you part of it? Okay, Tom. Okay, my friends. Are you and Tom? You can tell about these three. Oh, <laughs> that's Nia, James, and Nate. And over there are our Brazil friends Fernando, Raul, Obigala, and Gustavo. And that's the Brazil controller. Great to meet you all. Anyways, let's go, go, go. Hey, so you can go under here. I will lift you. Step on the way. The river. Okay, said so Ace. Ace was loaded did, and he went inside. Inside Stefano's house. Hello, Dell, said our voices. Who are you guys? We're the sort of construction crew. Thomas near James Waterpipe. Jack? Guys, is that you? Yeah, it's us. Thomas, James, and Neil were surprised. What are you doing here? We're heading to Italy. They, Thomas, Neil, and James were surprised about this. That's so awesome! We're going as well! That's what we heard. 
Come on, Stephanie, you better load us up. Wait, present, my friends, said Stephanie, and Stephanie soon got to work. Well, it's very nice to meet you, so such and close from Sodo. I'm Ace, the rally race of Australia. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't you visit Sodo a few times? Because we must have heard about you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember my face on Sodo. Oh, well. It's person to meet you. Of course, they said. Soon, the four friends were ready to go. Okay, Stefano, ready to go. Okay, you four. Anyway, wait. Goodbye, Basil. Basil, engines and the Basil controller. Goodbye, Stefano, they said. On to his whistle, Basil. Stefano went off. Goodbye. You four said the pursuit engines. Bye, they said. And Stefano was out of view. Oh, well, sir, said Gustavo. Looks like everything is back to normal, like the other country they went to. Yes, said Gold Gana. I'm gonna I'm miss them so well. Never mind, said Fernando. I'm sure they're gonna have a fantastic time in Italy. Get them back to Soto where they belong. Indeed. Come on, you guys. Let's get back to work. And soon, the four Brazil engines went back to work. Even though they missed, missed their solo friends, including Ace, but they knew they would probably return one day, or they could visit Soto. How is it down there, Ace? Asked the main tree. Clearing the solo construction crew. We're doing good down here, they said. <laughs> hmm, said Thomas. I can't believe we're going to our last country. I know, said James. This is crazy. Oh well, I see. At least we'll get to go back to Soto then. Yes, said Thomas. So, who are these? These? asked Stefano. Thomas chuckled. Uh oh. Let me explain, said Thomas. Of course, Thomas explained everything about his friends. And. And yes, they're heading to Italy this time. Right, but like always, I can't tell you what's going to happen in their final country. Or else, all the stories in Italy will be spoiled.